Yeah. First one is, first of all, what did you learn from your experience in Charlotte this weekend? From all the tournaments and the game and everything that took place, what do you take away from this? Uh, I think uh, I found out that the media is really overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, I have headaches from just looking at my phone, but uh, it's the greatest experience of my life. I, I can't complain. Uh, that's what we live for, for moments like this. I think uh, we take we take away the win and just enjoy this, this next scenario. I think it's, it's a great feeling. When you get to be an old man like me and you've got your children and grandchildren, what will you tell them about this experience? Uh, I'm going to tell them we'll be Virginia, number one team in the country. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can wait. I can wait to tell my kids uh, what, what an experience I have in this tournament. Uh, I think this is the biggest moment of my life so far. Uh, so, yeah, um, I can wait. How does it make you feel to know that what you two did the minutes, other night, the whole United States, whole world was pulling for you, and all you would pretty much been adopted as America's team, and you know that's good because of some of the things with some of the basketball scandals and things going on. America needed something a good, a good feeling, a team like y'all. Though, how does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel uh, amazing. I think what we did, it, we we kind of did it for the sport of basketball too. Like we we trying to save the sport. Uh, we trying to make fans believe and other schools believe that they can do it too so I think giving hope to no don't worry giving hope to uh, other schools uh, to go in the tournament and be in the lower seats uh, so they can beat bigger teams like Virginia number one seats uh, I think we're giving hope to other people well I was a college and high school coach for 27 years and enjoyed watching you guys play Thank you, you did a great job Thank you. Okay.